So guys, starting off the episode, that is right, we are going to be submitting a transfer request. It's huge, but at the same time, I feel like I need to move on from much Gladback. We're good, but we're not going to really be doing too much. Okay, alrighty, there we go. So we're added to the transfer request. Munch and Gladback are going to make a crap ton of money off of me. But let's do it. This is what we wanted. Alrighty now, so when are we going to be getting the offer? Of course, probably going to have to wait. We might even have to simulate a preseason game. But you never know. Quite interestingly, though, uh, the Italian Giovinco in the former league I played in, MLS, is apparently going to Hoffenheim. So, he's a classy player, I must admit, and, well, he deserves to be going where he's going. To be honest here, the MLS is a weak league. But here we go. I was talking about wanting a transfer request. They're offering from Liverpool. Okay! Uh, I mean, I'm not a Liverpool fan per se, but wow. I mean, I, I would be pretty, I'd be pretty good with that. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to decide, but I think I'd be leaning towards So, this is it. It's a huge transfer request, and it is from Liverpool. Going to be honest here, Firmino is kind of weak. And, uh, I'm going to be honest here, I think this is the team I should be going to. Because this isn't a team that's guaranteed going to win the league. But there's a real chance we can. And I think it would be fairly easy to beat out Roberto Firmino for that job. So normally I give you guys an option, but for here I want to go to Liverpool. I am a Chelsea fan, but in the game I think Liverpool is a great option for my career. So Baron Trump is officially moving and is becoming a Liverpool player. Let's hope we don't get Coutinho to when we want to leave. We, of course, are joining the team. So, let's take a look at the squad now. So, let's see how the players are. So, we got uh, Simon Minile, uh, Smolikov joined, Lovren, Matip, Moreno, Henderson, Wijnaldum, Coutinho is still there, Salah is still there, Firmino, me and him are going to have a real competition, Sadio Mane, uh, ignore the defense, uh, Emery Chan, Karius, Oxlade, these are some classy players, in all truth. We have good depth. We won't be forced to play every single game. There's a lot of really good players here, in all truth. Divock Origi. Man, the competition is going to be fierce for a starting spot, but I think I can do it. I believe in myself, and I know I can. So now, it's time to see. Are we going to be making our league debut? It's against Tottenham, a key match in the Prem. Take a look at it, and... We're in. Welcome to Liverpool. This is it. Such a huge match for my career. We're playing against Tottenham. Let's make an impact. Let's show why we're world class. And let's make the most of this huge opportunity. So now, that is right. It's time for a huge match in our career. We are the first summer signing of the season alongside with Danny Rose. And hopefully we can have both have fantastic debuts in this match. That is right. Welcome to the Liverpool's versus Spurs match. It is my debut in the Premier League in only my third season in professional football. I've gone from playing with the Los Angeles to the main team for now, Liverpool. It's going to be so nice to have play with some world-class players in all truth. So you already know, likes Coutinho, who's kind of repeatedly forced to stay there. Firmino, Sala, Mane, and I mean, Oxley Chamberlain's there also. But yeah, um, yet again, we're going to be stuck with our unfortunate tradition of having to show the matches on uh, this screen because guess what? Yeah, they copyrighted it. Okay, so it's Carriers in goal, Rose, Matip, Lover, and Smolikov in the back. And then it's Chan, Lana, and Henderson in the middle, and it's Coutinho, Oxley Chamberlain, and myself up top. Spurs, Spurs are playing with a 4 2 3 1. Daily Blind, Davinson Sanchez, Alder Vireld, and Aurier in the back. And then it's uh, Weigel and Wanyama. And it's Sun Ali Promise in the attacking spots with Harry Kane as a striker, with Lloris and Cole also. It's going to be a tough team to face. That is, alright. So it's Nilo at halftime. It's good link of play. That's the key, though. It's a very good link of play, and it's a very much uh, intelligent team. So definitely pleased about that. Either way, though, it is nil-nil. It's really time for someone to break the deadlock, and I want it to be myself. 
Alright, now it's Deli Ali, Ali, okay, it's Ali in here. It's Kane, he's been given way too much time, way too much time! Oh my word! Oh wow, okay. That was a horrible debut. Well, not really horrible, I didn't exactly get sent off. Got a 7.4 rating. I mean, Lovren was the only player, I think. Lovren and Alana were the only players to get a better match rating than me, so. It's okay, it's not great in all honesty. Uh, I would have liked to be a little more attacking, but you know what? It, it's perfectly fine. I'm relatively pleased with that, and uh, yeah, it's quite important to uh, be able to go along and do well at the top level. So yeah, not a perfect debut by any means, but we'll be okay. We'll be fine. So now we move into it, the second game, and it's time to really make good on my promise. Obviously, it was a boring yellow nil draw in the previous match, so we're going to the weird Liverpool kits. We're giving it a go. So let's see, Luka Modric in the midfield. Let's show him up, and there we go, we got Mane on, finally. Let's do this, and let's beat the Manx. So now we move into it, our second ever match versus Manchester City. So, yet again, a key match versus Pep's men. I'm currently unsure if Liverpool are even in the Europa League. However, this is a huge clash in for sides who both have title ambitions this season. Honestly, if we can get a world-class right back to just display Smolikov, honestly, this team is world-class. So, yeah, as you get into it, it's weird jerseys, but at the same time, we know we can do the business. It's quite interesting. I feel like I'm playing against Munchen Glad Gladback again, so it's interesting enough. But either way, Man City, they do have defensive weakness. Uh, someone like Stones is someone who I could pretty easily exploit uh, going down the wing. And uh, the fullbacks, while decent, uh, admittedly I'm hoping to stay away from Kyle Walker. So, Yeah, regardless though, you took a look at the Manchester City lineup. Uh, Mendy, Koulibaly, Inigo Martinez, Stones, and Walker. Three midfielders, uh, De Bruyne, Modric, and Fernandinho. Aguero and Benzema top. My god, that's scary. Okay, so fourth three for us though. Uh, same defense, same keeper. Henderson, Alon, and Chan there. It's Coutinho and Mane on the wings and myself up top. So, let's move to this. Let's go. Of course, our defense to actually win it back. That's through what a chance. That's passed through. Oh my no! No! Oh my god, I wasted the chance. I didn't mean to pass it. I was asking for a pass and Coutinho just gave it to me immediately. I'm, I can't believe it. It's unbelievably poor for myself. And w oh my god, it's half time. Like, literally nothing happened other than that one chance that just screwed up. Alright, now we gotta get we gotta get a goal. Honestly, we can't. We specifically can't get two goalless draws in a row. Especially with me making a debut and trying to put an impact in. We gotta be better than this. Shot taken in from oh No! Why can't I score? I'm trying desperately to build up the play, man, but I just can't get the goals. Coming alive, trying to push up the pitch. It's in now. It's Kyle Walker. It's Walker. Walker to Benzema. Benzema. Modric on the edge of the box. The ball's knocked through here. And what a chance! Shot taken in. Oh my god, Ederson! Ederson, man, I hate this guy. Shot taken. It's gonna go Martinez. Shot taken in. Goal! I've got the winner! And in the last minute of a huge derby, 87 minutes in, I've got my first goal for Liverpool. And boy, was it a testament to hard work and commitment. And character of the team, as Brendan Rodgers would say. It's a great goal. Needed it, though. And it was ridiculous how I wasn't sent through earlier, but I took my chance, and it was a banger into the bottom corner. And at this pace, we're winning a huge match that will be absolutely clutch for the whole entire rest of the season. Let's keep it up. Let's ensure we don't collapse at the last moment. And that's it. We've won the match. 1-0, the final score. And probably should have had an assist at the end there, but there we go, regardless of what it is. We get a huge max victory as we are declared the winners. Emre Chan was great with the assist there. 
Sketch takes some time to get used to the Silverpool team, but I'm very pleased that in the end we were able to scrape out a 1 0 win. So it's brilliant, and we at least start to get hopefully a bit of momentum in this team. So, of course, I've made the big switch, gone to Liverpool from Munch and Gladbach. At the moment, we are currently in, uh, yeah, eighth. Okay. Uh, not great. However, uh, pretty much, uh, 13 out of the, so pretty much, like, seven out of the top eight teams have, uh, four points. So, yeah, we're already, we're already. So, we just didn't really score enough, but you know what? We're okay. So now, in the next episode, you guys are going to find out whether we're in the Champions League and there's some real potential we might play our first Champions League match of the series in that episode. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will see you guys later. Peace!